G'day YouTube, 1MJ here and welcome back. Well first of all I'd just like to wish you all a very Merry Christmas. I truly do hope that you're currently able to spend time with friends and family and then just enjoy the day and get to relax. Uh, you know, my my deepest sort of you know sympathies to anyone who's really stuck in the middle of the, of the coronavirus and maybe is in lockdown and all the rest of it. I couldn't think of a worse time uh, to be have to going through something like that and not not being able to spend time with friends and family but you know hopefully you get through it well uh, and you come out this, the other side uh, much much better and I hope that for everybody in general now look uh, any Australian viewers we've had a really rough year and maybe rougher than some you know depending on how you look at it this time last year uh, we we're in the grips of you know awful bushfires particularly uh, in the kind of southern and eastern parts uh, of Australia and they went right through till pretty much uh, COVID all started so to all my Australian viewers you know hopefully you're doing much better I know we've got a couple of breakouts uh, going on and hopefully they're not gonna uh, sort of get too bad and again everyone can just enjoy Christmas and if you are tuning in today you know uh, hopefully you don't spend too much time on YouTube and you're going to get out there and actually uh, enjoy again time with friends and family but if you can't and that's why you're on YouTube then hopefully this will be something that uh, can help pass the time and maybe even brighten up the day from myself to you I hope you have a Merry Christmas now this video I just want to have a look at what Bitcoin has done in the past so what we got here is there is a whole stack of lines so these light blue ones here they're halving so we're not going to focus on them too much all these other lines these vertical lines they're actually Christmases so can we see if there's a trend of what happens to Bitcoin after Christmas right so first of all we're going to have a look at the halvings because they're important so we're going to notice what is a common occurrence of uh, Bitcoin at Christmas time after a halving so we can see the first one here this goes back to 2012 so what do we have it's a green line so that means there is a general uptrend after it and we can see so this is the halving back in 2012 here this light kind of green blue line then we have Christmas here so 25th of December 2012 and it's the start of a parabolic you know a bull run you know the kind of first one uh, that we kind of saw after a halving because 2008 it was created 2012 the first halving and we can see it just went in a bull run and then what we can see is that it peaked out not long before then so in uh, December and then here's the next Christmas so it did go up for a little bit but then it just started to sell off likewise we had this Christmas here again so this was Christmas 2013 2014 dropped off then we had this consolidation period here now here's December 2015 and the yellow ones represent it traveling sideways pretty much not a whole lot is happening so we travel sideways and here we have our next halving in 2016 so we go to the first Christmas after the halving and it's green because it is basically the start of another bull trend but look this one does pump up and then drop back so there is a bit of a drop off here but in the longer term it's a bull run then what do we notice basically Christmas again or around about there so it was a little bit before here but is the end of the cycle and then it is all red from there so we fall down and we fall down to here now we get to January 2019 Christmas it's a bit of sideways action and it does get a bit of a run up uh, and then it starts to sell off till we get to this next Christmas so this is Christmas 2019 now again it did travel more sort of sideways you could sort of say had a bit of a run up and then we obviously had uh, the pandemic so we can just you know again it recovered from there to about where it was before so it traveled sideways for quite some time now we have a halving so we need to go back and have a look Christmas uh, is uh, yet to come so we're still a few days before it here at the moment so what happens on a Christmas after a halving green and green so the first Christmas after a halving it's generally to the upside it's not to say there can't be any small downsides here we had one over here 
But basically what uh, I'm trying to show here is Christmas is in a few days. The chances are that we might have some kind of correction uh, after it. Again, we had it just here, but it is part of a bigger up cycle. And again, after a halving, there always comes uh, a bull cycle. So what I'm basically trying to say is, watch out, there could be some corrections here and there. Look, we could even have 30, 40% corrections. Let's have a measure, what was this one? This correction that came, that was a 35% correction right there. And it came not long after Christmas. So we might experience something like that now. I don't think so. I think the institutional buying at the moment there, the institutional FOMO is too uh, heavy and it'll just get bought up. But Christmas is due to come in a few days and based on previous cycles, it's highly likely that there's going to be quite a big upside coming after it. So again, there was quite a big upside. There was quite a big upside and it even had a, you know, what some would say, a bubble within a bubble. Uh, they think, uh, you know, people think Bitcoin is a bubble. It's just the way it runs in cycles. It's not a bubble. So it ran up, had a bit of a blow off top. And look, this correction, let's have a look what that one was. That was pretty hefty. Whew, that was an 83% correction. Very early days of Bitcoin. I don't think we'll ever see that kind of correction again, but who knows. But then there was another parabolic move. So there was two kind of parabolic moves uh, within that cycle from December 12th to December 13th. So for me, again, I just want to wish everyone a very Merry Christmas. And look, if we go past, uh, go by, you know, past cycles, it's likely that we're going to have a big massive upside yet to come and it'll possibly run through till close to December. No guarantees, it could be earlier, I think it's going to be somewhere between sort of August to December 2021 that the cycle peak will happen but it could push out further as well because of all the institutional buying and then it being pushed onto the retail section later, we just don't know. But either way, I'm really excited about 2021 uh, and the you know potential upside uh, for Bitcoin and just the market in general. I hope you are too. Stay safe, be kind to one another. Hopefully you're on that game train and I'll see you next time.